Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Languish. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I want to be speaking to the art teachers out there or people that want to learn to teach art to others. Um, I have actually been teaching art for 15 plus years and have learned so much through the process. I just want to share with you some tips and tricks I have for teaching art to kids. So I'll talk about some of the techniques that I use, some of the things I emphasize for different age groups, and hopefully it helps you out with your lesson planning. Art is a subject that can be taught and it can be learned. I think people forget that, you know, art sometimes is either lumped into this like craft category of you can, anyone can do it and you can just go at it, which is very much true on many levels, but at the same time there's a level of, there's a lot of things you can learn within the subject, and so as an art teacher that's your goal is to be able to teach your students those things. A lot of people view art as an extracurricular or a non-academic class, or honestly just a way to express yourself as a human being, but art is so much more than that. You can really teach art in a way that's going to help people learn to communicate better, to express ideas, and to learn how to think and see. So how do we teach kids these things? <laughs> so I want to jump into some of those different age categories and what are the things I focus on when I'm trying to teach kids art. I personally am coming from a background where I, I value teaching kids skills that are actually going to improve their ability, not just play, not just experimenting, but like how do they take what they know to the next level. That's really the type of art teacher I want to be. I want my students to be challenged so they can actually work hard at creating something better than they thought they could. I want them to realize that there's different ways of seeing, different ways of processing, so that they can better use the creativity that they already have. You can't give that to them, they already have it. But you're giving them the tools for how to express it, how to use it correctly, how to use it in a way that's going to be effective um, for presenting ideas and communicating and expressing themselves. You're just giving them the tools to do that and a better understanding of how how it's been done in the past and how to then apply that to your own work, as well as just how to get what's in your head, what you're envisioning out on paper or canvas or whatever material you're using. So for ages one to about age five or six, you're never too young to do art and to make a mess and to play with materials. But this age category very much is in the the group of play where you know you give them crayons, you give them some watercolors and they they just kind of play. Play is not bad. Play, and specifically art, is made up of a lot of play. But it, at this age, you can't really teach a lot of concepts. You can't really teach follow me type things as much as older ages. So it's definitely the time for your student to really learn to play with the materials, really learn that hand-eye coordination with crayon to paper, or pencil to paper, marker to paper, just to, just to exercise, work out those muscles that they haven't really worked with yet. So learning that a crayon or marker can make a mark on a piece of paper is so much that that little one is learning in that process. So just exposing them to a bunch of different textures and um, materials so they can kind of just play and try things out. Ages six, seven to around age 10, 11, this age group, they definitely can take instruction a little bit better and so there's a lot more that you can introduce to them. The best thing that I have found is honestly to really dive into the elements and principles of art, specifically the elements, because um, they can understand what line is, what color is, what value is, and you can do really a lot of, I mean there's so many projects out there for things you can do to really um, ingrain those concepts in their brain but with just repetition and just doing lots of fun projects around the elements of art in whatever medium you really want them to explore. In that process though, they do best when they do sort of a step-by-step -step project with you. So whatever the, the project is you assign them, doing sort of a step-by-step -step drawing process or step-by-step -step instructions that they have to follow is another thing that they can learn in the processes that art has steps, it has an order to things, and I think that's definitely a huge 
huge thing you can teach this age bracket um, when it comes to art subjects and art material, art curriculum. Uh, they want to copy, they want to mimic, um, not all the time, and I think there's definitely huge areas for letting them explore with colors they use and materials they use, but giving them some guidelines, some instructions is actually really, really, really helpful and actually wanted by the student. So they're definitely not at that level where they're expressing feeling so much or meaning so much in their work, they're more just trying to create something that looks good and looks like something else. Like they want to draw the horse the way they want the horse to look, you know. It's it's very much subject related. Um, it doesn't get quite deep enough and that's totally okay because they're in that, that phase where they can explore the medium, explore what the elements and principles are and learn that kind of copying you and following you with a step-by-step -step instruction. The next age category is like 11 to 18, uh, which is definitely a bigger gap where um, you've got sort of the end of middle school into high school. And this is when the brain is, is definitely more developed. So around age 12 is when you really can understand a little bit more, especially of some of the drawing concepts and stuff like that. And you've mastered the hand-eye coordination. And so it's kind of taking it to the next level. I've noticed with this age category that students really want something to look right. Um, and looking right, I think I think generally refers to they want it to look realistic. They want it to look like the picture they're looking at or the, the thing that they're looking at. Um, and they, they get frustrated by that because they want, they know what it should be, but they can't get it to that point. Um, and so it's an interesting phase where they're definitely still wanting to sort of copy things and be accurate and to be realistic, but yet they don't have quite have the skills yet or they're developing the skills in this phase. So I find it super important and I, I honestly encourage people in this age bracket to really learn how to draw. Like learning how to draw gives you so many more tools that then later in the next category you can break the rules and you know how to break the rules in ways that um, you can express yourself but you have to kind of know how to draw and feel confident with drawing to um, just feel better all around with some of the basic art subjects and so one of the books that i teach from a lot especially for this specific age category is drawing on the right side of the brain with betty edwards this book creates outcomes in students work and abilities that you've never like you wouldn't imagine they can create realistic portraits and they can basically draw what they're seeing and not what they think they're seeing, training the eye and the hand and the brain together. The coordination there is something they just need to master and practice and this is that perfect age category for them to do so. So I highly recommend focusing a lot on drawing, improving those drawing skills, um, improving, you know, being able to control a brush and paint as well. And then of course between you know, 16 all the way through adults. This is that age bracket where you, if you've taken art classes and have learned a bunch of stuff, and learned all the elements and principles and played with a bunch of materials, this is kind of the, the group where you can really learn to express yourself and your creativity. So you know all the rules, but now's the chance to break them. This is really where true expression can lie and it's super exciting to watch students reach this point of taking all that they've learned and applying it to what they really really love to paint or draw or sculpt or create um, and it's just so fun to see that and so as a teacher you want to find ways to cultivate that and not give too many instruction not give too many boundaries not give too many rules some are good because um, there's always going to be some restrictions especially if the student later in life wants to go into an art career they might have an employer a commissioner someone who's going to be giving them specific guidelines specific boundaries to stay within, but then letting them kind of go loose within that. So as a teacher, this is kind of your job to, you know, teach them the concepts, but then give them a specific project that has specific things they must have, but then the rest is open-ended. I think students really strongly um, do well with that concept, with, with 
uh, that method of teaching at this age because they're ready. They're ready. They've played, they've tried stuff, they know how things work. They're ready to break those rules and really express themselves. I sometimes in this age category as well as the one previous, um, I do like to go in depth about color and color theory. Not that every artist is gonna be using color, but there's just, especially value and color together is a huge thing that students really benefit from. It takes their art really to the next level if they can understand how color mixes, how color works, how color works with depth and all of these things. And obviously with value, um, all of that together is something I like to reiterate a bunch of times even when they're you know a lot younger I do color wheels with them and I practice their primaries and secondaries and tertiaries and mixing things and knowing how color works so that later on it's a little easier but I, there's so much to learn about color I mean I'm constantly learning about color myself and I love it and I want to be able to teach that to them and they can keep exploring color and keep just training their eye to see and mimic and copy colors so overall I I think my philosophy with teaching art, so to speak, is um, not let, playing is important, but not letting them play too long and start create, helping them create art, create a finished piece, create things that they can feel proud of sooner rather than later. Because I think if you let them play too much, you're gonna they're gonna lose interest. They're gonna lose um, some structure and some that professionalism that art can have if you're letting them play too much, giving them too much freedom. And so making sure that you have structure and you're teaching them those elements and principles of design along the way, starting young and as well as those step-by-step -step drawing instructions or step-by-step -step instructions for a project, all of that is super helpful and setting them up for the future where they will understand all those things, grasp onto that and be able to break those rules to create new and interesting art that expresses their own creativity. Obviously, as they get older, even when, even when they're younger, adding in some art history and talking about the masters and talking about um, all the famous artists and incorporating their style and mimicking their style, all that stuff is amazing and great to do and really improves their skills. And again, starting that stuff earlier rather than later is gonna really benefit them and set them up for truly, truly expressing themselves and their creativity down the road. So I hope you found this video helpful. And um, if you're an art teacher out there and you have more ideas, more inspiration, more project ideas, feel free to share them in the comments below. I'd love to read them. And um, share this video with any other art teachers or people that are interested in starting to teach art to children. Um, yeah, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more art content and art instructional videos and just encouragement as an artist um, at this channel. So uh, thanks for watching guys and I hope you have a good rest of your day. All right, bye.